everybody, it is me, Jennifer Bunny, and today we're going to do a Scary Stories Part 2. So let's get right into it. Okay, everyone, today we are going to be reading a story called The Lady in the Corner. I will uh, I will write the link where I got the, the story from in the description, so you can go check some stories out. There are 19 of them, and I'm reading the 16th one. Let's get into it. The Lady in the Corner. Strange things have been happening in someone's house. We're going to call him Cody. In Cody's house... For as long as they can remember. One night, they woke up to the sound of someone standing just outside their room, the floor creaking under their weight. They closed their eyes and pretended to be asleep, hoping it would leave them alone. Whatever it was entered the room and stopped right beside their, their bed. Creepy. They could feel the presence there. Ugh, I hate when that happens. They cracked open their eyes, hoping to still appear asleep while stealing a glimpse at their presence. A white figure stood in front of them. At first, they wanted to call their brother, but they were too afraid afraid to antagonize the ghost. Eventually, their eyes closed, and when they opened them a few minutes later, the figure was gone. I would be very scared. I just wouldn't know what to do, because you couldn't just stand up, you know what I mean? Thinking their father's bedroom would be a safer place to sleep, they wrapped themselves in a blanket and made their way across the house. Exactly what I would do. But when they entered the dining room, they felt as though several pairs of eyes were staring at them. Moo. They kept going until they reached the doors of the bedroom, but it was locked. Instead of going back to their room, they went into the living room and fell asleep. Around four in the morning, they woke again, and sitting on top of the television in the corner was the white figure. This time, it was clear the figure was an elderly woman. She was somewhat blurry. Weird and her eyes were darker than her pale body. She said their name and tried coaxing them outside. They screamed and the figure vanished. They hid under the blanket until morning. When daylight had come, they told the story to their family. The brother believed every word, saying he had seen the same exact figure watching him sleep. Wow, that was a very interesting story. I got chills. Um, I guess let's read another story. This one is called Home Alone, I think. So let's get right into it. One day, I'm going to call him John. John wasn't feeling well, so they stayed home from work. <sighs> they were in bed, asleep on their back with a pillow over their face. When they heard the door open, they were still half asleep so they didn't fully register the door being opened. Then, John felt a pressure on John's stomach, like someone was poking John with two or three fingers. They heard and jumped, they jumped and heard the sound of retreating footsteps, but the pillow was still over their head, so they couldn't see who it was, or what it was. The footsteps sounded more like a light pitter patter, pitter patter, than actual footsteps, human footsteps. Assuming it was their mother home from lunch break, at fir they had first thought nothing of it. Checking their phone, they saw it was only 10 a.m., much too early for their mom to be home. As they were sitting in bed, exactly what had happened began to settle in. They started getting really nervous. Suddenly, the door opened. They ran from their room through a different door that leads outside and called their mother. She came home, and they looked through the house together. While they were looking, the door handle to a closet started to jiggle violently freaking both of them out. That night, the two told the writer's stepfather, who at first didn't believe them. He only started to after weird things started happening all over the house. Pans flying across the kitchen, stuff randomly falling from the walls, and the new cat freaking out for no apparent reason. That's the whole story, and I heard that these are real stories. Um, it says real stories. So, from the lady in the corner like if this is actually real and they're actually real scary stories well they are scary but real st ghost stories then this is in incredibly 
crazy. So, I mean, that's I guess that's it for today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!